Hey guys, welcome back to the Big Country Channel. What I want to show you today is I'm putting together a new seat to put on my kayak. And uh, when I had it without a seat, it was really kind of tired me out the first time I was on it. So I want to show you what I've done. This seat here, uh, I got it from Walmart, $39. What I've done is I had a piece of scrap wood here and that I had laying around the house. Okay. And uh, you can see these holes here. All I did was kind of bore those out a little bit. And I had these screws already at the house. And then I just drilled a hole through the wood and then screwed the wood down to each one of these holes. And then you can tell this sucker it's not going anywhere. I then went and got some three quarter inch pipe uh, with a couple of uh, U turns here that I put on here. And then I cut this. This is only about an inch and a half. Uh, three-quarter inch pipe that I've cut and stuck down in here then right here on this side here you can see I've got uh, two small three-quarter inch pieces here and it's about two inches and really you can make this as high as you want to make it there's actually a little plastic knob like this right here that's right here also and what I did is I just pushed these on to here and kind of locked them on there uh, I haven't glued them yet or anything like that so they're still loose I'm still gonna put those on there I have tried it without gluing it yet, just see how they work. I got no water with it and it worked fine. Uh, but I just want to show you how this this works. This right here, these two right here, as you probably are aware, are going to sit down here inside these scupper holes here. And uh, we'll show you how that works and we'll go ahead and show you how I got it all set up. Alright. It's down in the scupper holes. It's not even going in there right now. It's already pretty much locked in. Then what I went and done is uh, I went and uh, bore me a hole on this side of the chair and on that side. So I can just take this and hook it right in there. I got one for the other side doing the same thing. All right, which is going to hold that side in. And I went ahead and drilled me a couple holes here on the front. Alright, and that's it. It's nice and sturdy. It's not going anywhere. It's still sitting down low enough in the boat where you don't have really a bad balance uh, when you get in it. It still balances pretty good. I do have a plan. I've already got some notes, stuff that I'm going to do when I... I'm going to go ahead and put a pond two on the end of this, and uh, y'all be able to see that. Once I get all the materials and stuff, I want to do that with. Uh, still debating what to do with this seat here, whether to take it off. It's not really in the way you thought maybe with the poles to be here, that'd be all in the way, but it's not. Actually, the poles set up here and set up just fine, so it's not really in the way. Uh, so I'm debating whether to take this out and do something with it. To kind of show you the parts that I've got that I used, I went to Walmart. And I got these uh, mini bungee cords. They were like five bucks, twenty for this this jar here. You could actually use this jar of water tight uh, later on if you wanted to. I went and got these at Dick's. I think these are like four or five dollars over at Dick's. Uh, and uh, and then these two whole uh, pipe straps that I picked up over at uh, Home Depot. But uh, as you can tell, I did put these through the little eyelets here uh, to hook this on. And these straps, they work out fine. So there you guys had, if you got, you know, a Pelican or you want a seat, uh, that's what I did, pretty simple as far as setting the seat on there. So you can get out there and have fun out there in the water and be more comfortable. You can sit longer for sure uh, than what else. And I had a pad down that I was using with that one seat, but it just didn't give me enough back support. And uh, being 6'4 and 270 pounds, I needed really some more support on my back to sit out there longer. So, uh, there you guys have it, simple way to uh, mount you a seat. Uh, cost and all this, you might have, you know, a little over 50 bucks just because the chair is your most expense for uh, $39 at Walmart. It's really gonna be your most expense. The other stuff's pretty cheap. Well guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope this helps you guys are looking to uh, put a new seat on your kayak to make it more uh, comfortable so you can fish longer. And uh, let me know if you have any comments. If you think I should remove this, let me know. Uh, maybe we'll talk about maybe moving this out. If you guys got some comments, maybe we'll have to go ahead and take that off of there. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Come back and see me. Y'all take care now.